like to go inside early to Culver. He's a foul magnet. Backdoor cut, and McBride gets them on the board. Good pass for the big guy. The outgoing athletic director took a chance on Mike Boynton, and he has delivered. McBride can't hit for three. And Moncrief had a guard, but he is one of the final five for the Kuzi Award, along with Terry Butler from the Big 12 for the best point guard in America. Culver, offensive rebound. Some Taz Sherman. That won't go. The back tap, though, keeps it alive. McBride at the elbow. Yes. Tell you what, people didn't, may not notice, but Emmett Ma The soft spot in the zone is the free throw line. And Deuce McBride found that soft. Get that ball quicker out of the double teams. Good job by Likely. Deuce McBride. The tip follow. Four. In 04. What a group of young athletes. Deuce McBride with the left hand. Crossover by McBride. Gets his own miss. Gets a shot fake, couldn't get it to go. And McNeil saves it to Deuce McBride. McBride, tough fadeaway. He knocks it down. McBride had 16 in the first half. Step back here, make it 18. Anybody who thinks the mid-range away by Jalen Bridges. McBride. That's off the front rim. Tapped around. McBride. Cunningham the rebound. Long bounce pass to the steal. Matthews is doing the job. McBride. That's off the mark. Another rebound for Cunningham. Fouls to give for Oklahoma State. McBride, eight to shoot. Steps back from the elbow. Likely the rebound. Cunningham tied up. Trapped down low, and Moncrief turns it over. I wish you would have realized that they had the possession arrow, and a jump ball right there would have given the ball right back to them. Nice take there. That's Bryce Williams with his second field goal of the game. Deuce McBride. He was held in check in the first half, only two points. Six of 14 at TCU, so I don't know who the shooting coach is there. <laughs> but the, the, but it's but he's really inconsistent. Spin cycle from Deuce McBride. Oh, Saboy off the window. Oh, man. That doesn't happen very often. For all the value Gabo Saboyan brings to this team, he just uh, he just uh, eclipsed his season. Out. No Cunningham, no Likely, both sitting this one out. And someone's going to have a chance. Likely coming over. Now this game is starting to switch in terms of its momentum, even though West Virginia trails one in the Mountaineers' favor, Rich, because of all the foul trouble. In good angle. Take a look. A lot of switching, no three ball, and a tough angle to, to feed it in from that far out, Rich. When that pass is made from that deep, it's got too much heel in it. Hard man to stop one on one, trust me. I've tried, seen it firsthand. He's not an easy person to stop. McBride, offensive board, Bridges. That's where he's not able to really get into his bag and get buckets because he, he, he doesn't really have those perimeter guard skills. But when he's deep, that's when he's at his best. So you have to force him out. Do your work early, force him out before he touches you. 
Well, TCU with under five minutes to go in the half had more points from the line than from the field. McBride has had a quiet first half. He's now 0 of 3 set up by McBride. Shot clock is down to five. A lot of dribbling. That's a three. The shot clock was expiring. Eight. Yeah, well, with our state Texas. Texas. Kind of gives a similar feel. Similar vibes. Well, Nimhart just got his first field goal of the game, his first <laughs> points, and there's the wow. first points for McBride. So, fouls. He exits to the bench. Osa Boyan, the lone West Virginia player with three fouls at this point. Three point <laughs> shot around and in for McBride. Ladie, 10 points, leading TCU in scoring. McBride. Off the left side, Matthews in a crowd. Nears with 12.49 to play in the first half. McBride trying to answer and does for the Mountaineers. Right around six minutes to go, West Virginia up nine. Back cut, McBride flipped it and couldn't get it to fall. And then eight again. But now the clock's starting to become a bigger ally of West Virginia with three and a half minutes to go and a three. McBride, offensive rebound, Culver goes. Bob Huggins' team led by as many as 16 in the first half. Led by 14 at the break. McBride. Virus, there's a COVID break when other teams have the virus and your games have been canceled. Baylor's been ravaged pretty hard the last three weeks, and we saw that performance against Iowa State. I think Kansas, the way they're playing right now. An All-Big 12 preseason player, a McDonald's All-American coming into Morgantown. A terrific job by Coach Huggins and the staff altering the offense and really ramping up the offense. Yeah. The two Baylor players are making it, and Kate Cunningham's making it. And then I'm going to let you figure out who I have for the other two spots. <laughs> well, uh, you and I have spoken about this already. Yeah. I, I have no... TCU going to need Nemhard and Mike Miles to have a big night tonight. Deuce McBride thought about it, then pulls up from 15 and a fast start for the Mountaineers. Culver. McBride had an inch. Here's McBride straight on. Tournament worthy teams exist in your league, and where are those teams seated? And the ACC for a while there was on the verge of being without a top three seed for the first time ever. Now it looks like Florida's. Deuce McBride, the pull up from 17. Take advantage. He's dominated this first 20 minutes of basketball. McBride going to work, five to shoot, pull-up jumper by Deuce McBride. It rattles out, and they... Culver hands it off, McBride trying to get going to open the second half, and he does. Dallas Fort Worth area, so many parts of the Southwest have been affected by that. It has been one difficult season. And the paint, McBride had it blocked. Culver fighting for it. Here's Sherman behind a screen. Pull up for Taz Sherman. One of the few that haven't gone down. Second effort by McBride. And Osaboyan keeps it alive. Can't believe I'm going to ask this, but where do they go for offense? Either McNeil, they, oh, what a good play. They love that X action. They use that, that pinch post that... 
Texas. I thought that changed that game. Good time to pull it out here. McBride working on the freshman Miles, and he uses the glass. McBride. They're, they're just outgunned. I mean, they're not as good as West Virginia, and West Virginia has more weapons. But every time you thought West Virginia was going to pull away, TCU had a, had a response to keep it with it. They've been through both, John. And, of course, games canceled this week, the one up at Oklahoma because of weather. Little step back, nice shot, McBride. Last three games. Especially in conference play, they're outstanding. Gets his kids to play hard, develops that bond with them. That one off the mark from McBride. Longhorns, the shooting team this is for Bob Huggins. Jones oh, yeah, take it away. Remember, Sher yeah, Sherman's been banged up, so getting him back is important. We can't hit. Got off to. So it'll be interesting to see if he brings him back in this half. I did a game earlier this year where Fats Russell at URI picked up four in the first half. <laughs> but I know Scott Drew's program has battled the virus the last couple of weeks. So I'm really anxious to see where Baylor is vis-a-vis -vis where they left us. A game. Yeah. McBride just outside the paint. That was long. Oh man! Sean McNeil in the second half has been on fire. Kansas State and TCU. That's a 5 Eastern. Tuesday night, Iowa State and number two, Baylor. And Big 12 now is the home of the early round for the women's tournament start. You got the cutouts, but essentially team personnel only, some building personnel, and that's it. annual fee no need to jump through any crazy hoops what's in your wallet t-mobile knows the new year brings big news we're having a baby get an iphone 12 with 5g on us on every defensively they've been rock solid remember this is one of the best defensive teams in the country elite on both ends of the floor as mcbride tried to force one up he was shut down by butler which obviously at valparaiso for many years and Charlie Huggins, one of the great high school coaches in the history of the state of Ohio. These two guys have a lot in common. How about that step back by Deuce McBride? Games to really get back to where they were. Of course, it's still uncharted territory, so he wasn't exactly sure. Didn't know how much to practice, how many games, you know, whether to scrimmage in practice, whether to rest them. Now a takeaway by Jalen Bridges, and he'll get the return for McBride. This is a big possession right here. McBride penetrates. Off glass. Yes. How wow. many looks does Baylor get to come away empty? Oh, that's to my point, Bob. They, they got off to a hot start, but I think they've lost their edge. Maybe it is fatigue. And McBride comes. They go to the lineup that started the game. Although right now I think Osaboyan's in there for Culver. So they just uh, burnt a timeout for no reason. I wouldn't even say the ground floor. I would say the basement, Bob. Jared Butler just picked up his third foul. Ended up with the loose ball. Taz Sherman rims out a three. Osa Boyan right back outside. I love the pace they're playing with, Bob. They're speeding wet and loose. Four out around Culver, but they're spreading the floor and just playing isolation basketball. And it works. Shoulder. Culver, nice look down low, spinning out of. Butler. Can't knock it down. Gets his own miss. Puts it back up. That rolls off the rim. 
Think about it, Bob. He rarely missed. I just wonder how much fatigue plays a factor in this last five minutes. And for both teams here, keep your eye on Culver. Tend to shoot. Deuce McBride starts to go to work. McNeil looks to screen for him. A break for West Virginia. Deuce McBride will inbound. A chance for the Mountaineers to win it. That room they give McCormick, too. They don't have to guard him out there. Mm -hmm. They gave Christian Brown plenty of room, and it didn't cost him either. A little too strong on that three attempt. And driving all the way through, a little too much there. And now Kansas in transition. And away from the basket. We're not seeing that yet. We could see that with Jalen Wilson. That's a five. And so off that illegal screen, West Virginia ball again. You see the 7 nothing run. Now comes the three. Floodgates. Yeah, it's just a matter of when, not if, and I think it'll be this year for Huggins to be a be a Hall of Famer. Well, I think Huggins should get in the Hall of Fame just by popularizing the, the casual look. <laughs> Good Big 12 career at Kansas. Sean McNeil off to McBride at the top of the key and able to get it back for a shot with five seconds left on the ticker, but why not? Against Bob Huggins. Kansas trying to force a turnover there. Nice reach in there by Jalen Wilson. West Virginia gets it back, though. But he's got a lot in his package to like. Had the 15 points against Kansas State the other day. Uh, the ball went back to West Virginia here. Culver trying to do it again. No, McBride, the big follow. Shooters, but you've got to be aggressive in attacking the paint, especially if you're going to play small ball. You've got to drive it, drive and kick, drive and kick, knock down threes, and then convert inside when you get chance. If that made free throw can get McCormick going, he started over three and then missed that free throw, the first one. Connects to make it a six-point game as we go under five minutes to play here first half. Let's see who this gets this. And McCormick gets one to go. That's where the ball belongs for Kansas when McCormick's in the game. When he gets points easily, everything opens up for the offense. And West Virginia gets that one to drop. Retains possession. The Mountaineers are plus nine in field goal attempts because of the nine turnovers that Kansas is committing. And there's Deuce McBride. I think that's three. It is. Open man. Not happening. If you want to understand how to have an impact without having the ball, just watch Gabe out for number three on West Virginia. And it's not falling for West Virginia. Right. West Virginia, if you've just joined us, is led by as many as ten. There's a whistle, though. Count the basket for McBride. And a mountain. Little play like a screen, rescreen. Bridges resets to McBride. Six to shoot. McBride pulls it on a three. Splash. So this kid, he can put a team on his shoulder. Easy opportunity at the rim for him. West Virginia got off to that 7-1 and one start. We're ranked seventh in the country in late December. As Deuce McBride continues his round to new heights so far this season. Matthews on a three, won't go. Offensive rebound. That's when you're going to join Johnson. And a three. Offensive for KU right now. West Virginia, number 17 team in the country. McBride, well played by Abaji. Look who gets it back. Oops. Enough to a terrific start in this one. Four points in the early going. McBride going to work off the window, and West Virginia hasn't missed a shot. We'd like to welcome those of you who just watched Arkansas beat Kentucky. It's time now for the main event. Top 25 matchup, the lone top 25 matchup of the evening. West Virginia and Texas Tech from Lubbock. The electric Mac McClung. You have to keep him in front. He's come on as McCuller knocks one down. Six ranked teams in the Big 12, and Kansas not among them. It speaks to the depth of this league. We'll talk about that here in just a bit. And, you know, Bob Huggins decided to sit him with two, ha two fouls the rest of that half, it, you know, largely in part because they're up six. And there he goes. Uh, and the big fella puts it home.
Deuce McBride is coming out firing. Giving up some height there on the block and trying to be physical with Culver, and, and he is very good at getting the other team in foul trouble. There goes Deuce McBride again. Rattles around the rim and goes down. Boy, McBride is looking for his shot here to start the second half. Edwards a three. Kept alive by Burton. Stay around six minutes, five, six minutes. With, with a big guy, you're always more reluctant, especially with how physical this game has been. Big guys more apt to pick up fouls. ESPN Networks, North Carolina, and number nine, Virginia, square off 6 Eastern on ESPN. KD, Kyrie, James Harden, and the Nets take on Steph and the Warriors, 8 Eastern on a three line in his field. McNeil tried to force it up. Coaching career. Best player on the floor. Is this guy, Miles McBride for West Virginia. A little blow by ball fake window, and he gets it to go. So, a couple of layups for West Virginia. But not it up at four. It is 6 6 now with 17 to go, just underway in Morgantown. McBride one on one with Mann straight up, and that jumper is good. Miles McBride really impacting this game in the first. That ankle injury to four in, in, in gold was so severe. The doctors initially said, You'll never play sports again. And that's how tough he is, man, to fight through all that rehab and say, yes, I will. And Kramer said to him, look, you've had the toughest kid out of this school, and that was a success. I have the next toughest kid we've ever had, and it's number four right there. It's the fadeaway, Miles McBride. And what a start. Make your layups, make the free throws, Ravi. You hear me all the time talk about it. Determines ball games. McBride, he will shoot over Castleton. That one back iron, and again, Castleton had a chance to get it. Matthews 11 into the game, long pass, eight seconds on the shot clock. McBride, too strong, really good rebound in traffic. It was Mann who went up, but it doesn't. 26 25, the foul was on Appleby. And an offensive yeah, rebound. I get that one. Outside shooting for McBride's been his one. Goes back in the game. There's our guy, Ravi, we've been calling for. No, I actually, he was in the game before we went to break. I think you missed that. You were, you were sort of well, obsessing about, about sticks. The, I was excited about the forward offense. Gets of Culver, he never left his feet. No, he just, he, he slid him. And I talk about the ball never surprises his feet on the offensive end. It doesn't surprise his feet on the defensive end either. Because he's taking shots. I mean, he could have, Kasselton could have a big couple of minutes right now with Culver on the bench. Does Mike White go to him? Do they back screen Castleton to the block? Do they try to get him isolated? All right, Big 12 now on ESPN Plus. So Big 12 fans, ESPN Plus must have for those fans. Tuesday, check this out, Mountaineers, Iowa State, 7 Eastern time. Plus Kansas State against number 15. 12. You've got to have it. Sign up today, ESPNplus.com slash Big 12 now. Texas Tech ends up beating LSU 76-71. Florida's got 20 from the free throw line. Each team in the bonus. Trey Mann, it's open, and he kicks it for a Daruji pass. 21 points, five threes. Trey Mann, that's short, and they block it out. Good action, though. Just double up, clear it out, let Mann get down the pipes. And any, any play calls, any changes he needs to make, he has to make right now, either with the substitution coming in for the message with everybody, or he pulls his guard over and says, this is what I need. But West Virginia out of the candidate for sixth man of the year in the Big 12, inserted into the starting lineup today. There is Deuce McBride, West Virginia's mm. leading scorer, 17 a game. Bob Huggins giving him the opportunity to do that. He has, he has a chance to be a really, really good player. Another three-pointer, no good by Miles McBride. And Gordon, who's K-State's leading scorer and rebounder in league games. McBride for three, hits. Man. Look, th this is how you get good in college basketball unless you're recruiting multiple 
top 15 freshmen, okay? Like, th this is how you have to get good. You're going to have to have some... K-State just doesn't have much in the paint right now, and Easy Ager was a shot blocker. They have not had that element, and teams have been doing this Ooh. above the rim to Deuce McBride. McBride over Gordon. There's Osaboyan. Shot clock out to McNeil. Launches in and out. Ball batted up. And the rebound to Osaboyan. McBride knocks it down. And you saw what West Virginia does really well. One on a marker board. You, you can coach your tail off. At the end of the day, these guys got to take responsibility for what's going on here today. 20 turnovers. Two and a half minutes into the second half. I don't count a rival K State. What's a Sunny and Cher reference? Am I, did I miss that? Tuesday, February 2nd. I think this thing goes longer because I think Conor McGregor. Well, that's okay. I mean, when 146 thing... last time. Way to go out on a limb. Come on. I'm taking the over. I'm taking the over. If the... And less steps. Actually, I had Ohio's, Ohio, no, no, Ohio State, the, the kid Seth Towns. And that was kind of the beginning of the, the freshman thing for Duke. But, you know, that team won that year because it was old. No other, and tough, and all the things that come with age. This West Virginia team, both McBride and Taz Sherman, have given them a great scoring lift from the perimeter. Watch McBride go to work. McBride with a step back. That's a little too strong, but sometimes the best. He's the sixth winningest coach in, in the history of college basketball. He's likely to pass Bob Knight and go into fourth place by the end of the season, so there's no question. They skip one to the wing, and there is Deuce McBride knocking. Here comes Jordan McCabe. Yeah, but McCabe has been a starter on and off throughout his career. He's the only pure point guard Bob Huggins has. McBride misses in the mid-range, and Deuce McBride and see if it works out. It certainly has. And here he comes the other way. He's not really hesitation a dribble. Yeah, he's just a guard. And there's the follow by Bridges, who was back. A little too strong. McBride runs it down. Look, I love Culver running. He is running the floor tonight, the big fella. And Shannon's going to run the other way with that. Re well, we do still have Big 12 basketball to talk about, and Big 12 now on ESPN Plus, a must-have. For all Big 12 fans, Thursday, the 15th ranked Jayhawks host TCU at 8 Eastern. Look at the turnover points off turnovers, Bob. Now we think of West Virginia as being a great defensive team, turning D into offense. Not tonight. Got to start with D. Culver doesn't get the roll. This game was tied at the half, but the second half has been all Mac McClung dropping dimes, scoring at will. 17 of his 23. Sherman and McBride, but if they're going to give up close to 100 points, they're not winning this game. They need stops now, West Virginia. And it wouldn't kill them to make a free throw as well. They're now yes. 9 for 18 as a team. As a coach. I batted around 50%, Bob. You see what <laughs> Roger Ayers right now, you see what he's doing with the... He's, there's a DV monitor right there, and it circles this ball in slow motion. Now, one of the designated inbounder. I don't know if you remember Scott Hastings, Bob. Played sure. with the Atlanta Hawks, right, Arkansas. He would play no minutes in 47 and a half minutes. And if they needed an inbound. McCabe. Here's Deuce. McBride pull up by the long mm. two. He knocks down to begin the scoring tonight. Um. Helped me in everything I do, but made me help me become the man that I am today. Uh, he's big on really educating uh, African Americans, helping them learn how to read and help people remember that black minds matter too. So. Johnson looking for Njai instead for McBride. He's going to launch the three well off the left side, but pray without Javen Johnson, who's been one of their key scorers all year as well, dealing with COVID protocol. The pass. Linked off for McBride, rebound for Culver. That feeds Solomon Young, but picked off. Here comes Deuce. Oh. He feeds Bridges. Can't 
complete that flush and then the bunny missed by McBride and it won't with their coaches that will tell me that's a deep three from McNeil as he was getting a heat check there bridges Here's also boy doing what he does best there and that's setting up a teammate and a big slam by McBride All game and that's why I love him and, that, and that, that's why I think he has a great chance to play on the next level Iowa State's gone cold They've missed their last seven from the field Iowa State's gone cold from the field They have not had a field goal actually in since the 855 mark, so it's been over four minutes McBride long two a little bit long with the shot and a one and done for the Mountaineers that time I don't know how to fight the under. And COVID is the invisible threat that every program, every body in this country and around the world has been dealing with. Look at all that out here. The Cyclones will and try to get a stop and keep it a one possession game. McBride's been quiet in the second half. Oklahoma, West Virginia has it to start. Both teams one and one in conference play coming in. For West Virginia, their only losses to Gonzaga and Kansas. Inside and make him pass out of Oklahoma's double team. Instead, it's a perimeter-oriented lineup right now for West Virginia. Norman, well, when you play West Virginia, you have to mount, match their toughness. Davion Harmon was hounded, he gave it away. Miles McBride for the slam. Deuce bringing West Virginia to within single digits. It's a nine to nine. Watch him now. The point I just made about Sherman knocking one down. Reeves has been quiet offensively for Oklahoma. Does that get him going a little bit? Nice fourth in the Big 12. Huggins shooters get hot. Now watch him continue to try to feed Sherman on the offensive end. is honest because again you know West Virginia with the long haul they're going to defend they're going to attack that offensive glass and another thing that's happened for them the second half Ted they're taking care of the basketball yes. much much better 12 turnovers the first half they so a 9-0 run for West Virginia Gibson something both these teams do defensively now Hill gets deep into the paint to the heart of the defense of West Virginia. But they don't leave their feet. You stay down, you've got a guy in a tough spot. But in this situation, you gotta run something like that. You gotta force turnovers, and that's exactly what they did. Well, for Oklahoma, Omoja Gibson. Cunningham and Likely, 6'8 and 6'4, both 220. McBride lost it. Sean McNeil found it, and now McBride rims out a three. Offensive rebound, Derek Culver, and the... How about that? Back-to-back -back baskets by the linebacker in the defensive end. McBride in the mid-range, and Emmett Matthews saves it, but a foul was called. The basket, really well done. McBride Mickey. plays it off of the back <laughs> of Cunningham. And I think Bob Huggins is coming soon. And then we'll start talking about Mark Few and Jay Wright. All also, no doubt about it, Hall of yes. Famers at some yep. point. Culver, often. He's certainly good enough of an athlete to be an outstanding NBA player, no question. But uh, what I love about him is he's going to be a great teammate because he plays the game the right way, really unselfish. You know what he can't connect. Another rebound for Culver. That is his 11th rebound to go with 11 points. McBride pulls up. That's off the heel. That's okay. He's got to get aggressive. He fouled him. Now the key for the Mountaineers is how do you get the ball to Culver? McBride with the left hand. Yep, I like it. He's got to be program. Is that good? 884. 
Well, you wouldn't know because you and I are, you cover the Jets, and I'm a Jets fan. I, so You know what that was? I just lobbed it up there as an alley-oop, and you just hung from the rim. We're seeing the whole repertoire tonight, Bob. 19 points, 9 shots. McBride rolls it off the rim. Henry looking like an old school dump truck you running back and that's all he does he is a lot of fun to watch <laughs> like Jim Brown Never that's right that guy? it's like a Jim Miles Brown McBride like, <laughs> can't try to explain to somebody that layup won't go good contest at the rim by Kedrian Johnson back the other way comes Taz Sherman he gives it up McBride from the corner it's a three midway through the second half Bob Huggins or inside the culver it's a matchup zone someone's getting an open three there it is from the corner and it goes yep. down for miles wow. mcbride and he gives and can't answer a chance for the mountaineers to extend their lead get the ball to deuce or culver uh oh mcbride oh. feeling it from nba oh. range i'll tell you he to make a play here maybe sherman on the down screen well he's got it with five to shoot mcbride Hunting his shot. Fades away. Got it! How about that? Money, money, money. You should down low. Here's McBride. That's a two-point shot. Good for Miles McBride. Who has scored a Gable Sapoint in the game. Pull up for McBride. Jones able to corral the rebound. Two minutes to go, first half. Texas can tie it here with this shot. I should say West Virginia could add to the lead with that missed shot. Maybe second effort by Ham won't fall. McBride catch and shoot three. Out of bounds, staying with the Mountaineers. Quiet first half for McBride. Went one for four from the field. His first shot of the second half is not there. Culver, the one arm day. Well, here's what caused the stoppage in play. The bucket by Ramey, and then you'll notice the ball goes through, and then he just kind of flips it off to the side. West Virginia players look at, hey, what are you doing? That out of excitement. Ramey the floor skip it make the defense shift on the weak side you can get the ball moved quickly and attack before the defense shifts from strong side to help side is there is just he'll turn and he'll face that time he tried to spin quickly six minutes to go in Morgantown Texas down three trying to cut into that lead Andrew Jones Sims trying to keep you down to a tip off against TCU 1A to Gonzaga's number one mark and yeah, Kevin, coming down the stretch here, number four, Texas, number 14, West Virginia. West Virginia, tremendous game of the Big 12 to start things off this afternoon. Got Baylor, TCU coming up next here on ESPN from Fort Worth. He's in that rim as a shield. McNeil, quick trigger. Yes. Kate Fellas. Championship. We are officially in the postseason, which means now they are officially eligible to play in the NCAA tournament as well. And the big story about that is West Virginia gets hot right now. Taz Sherman. Big shot for the Mountaineers. He can do it. Remember, this is a team offensively. Shooters all over the place. Here's a set play. Taz Sherman fires it. Oh, Got man! Another. Wow! That was a set play that was... You have weapons now. If you throw it into Culver, remember, not a reliable free throw shooter. They got him a jump shot. Taz Sherman. Sherman for the lead! And he knocks it down! That's called... Bridges chest and while he falls down Bridges had no chance to get a piece of that shot nice they go right inside to Culver yes, oh, they did. Flush. oh and the app
I might be down at that one too. I have to figure out whether I want to go down there or stay home and watch the two. The double header Texas goes to TCU, but I'll be well prepared for next week. Is yes. Now I think Anderson was calling it already, but remember the the coach can call it at the end of the game. Watch Anderson right here. He's calling timeout, which is a great play, and it's not a trap. Help or you will give up easy points just like that. Every single time. Four early points for Kevin Samuel. Three left corner swish. McBry trying to go over the top for Culver. Comes down with it, turns and scores. Right now, TCU has it no. There were two things that we would always stress in practice. It would be rebounding and the press. They don't really press like they used to, but rebounding is something that Bob has. RJ Emhard calls. 12 points, nine rebounds. He has picked up a rebound in this half. So he has his first career double. And Matthews. <laughs> Emmett Matthews off the inbounds. The walk there. Ladee faces up on Culver, shoots over him and misses. Long pass. Bridges. It's been his night. In 20 games for Derek Culver this year, one of just three major conference players to be averaging a double double. Did they count the basket? Jalen Bridges with turnover. Dixon talked about off the game on Saturday as McNeil knocks down. Tiger Woods, multiple leg injuries are being reported from his agent. And a report from the accident scene indicated the possibility of two broken legs. So obviously Samuel at the rim can't finish. Sherman has had the hot hand, the willing trigger, and Sherman hits again. He's up to 18. Where they keep track of time and scores to win the game. I don't understand why you'd ever want to lose. Here's Sherman, a three, buries it, and the lead is up to 15. West Virginia's largest lead has been 16. Here's McNeil, pull-up jumper, and a good-looking move by Sean McNeil. Uh, he's not just... John. You know, in the next week, uh, yep. you know, I know I know they're going to Kansas on the 27th. It's going to be interesting. West Virginia goes to their place on Thursday. I will say this, but maybe the most important guy on that front line is Jericho Sims. The pride to McNeil. Nine bucks. Plus, get our unlimited plan with no contract on America's best networks for up to 50% less. Tune out the nonsense and tune in to Straight Talk Wireless. Straight Talk Wireless. I'd probably do it 10 times, but I'd make my point. Longhorns moving the ball. Uh, I think a little bit of mental. Uh, Rest, if you will, and they come out sharp, Bob, to get started. And out of the huddle, they go right to Taz Sherman. So Bob Huggins dials up. The Bears are four for six from behind the arc. Culver, he's trying to find some space. Swarming defense. Here's McNeil for three. He gets the soft roll. See the spacing now. They're going to try to get four out. They can drive it. They can score it inside. Look at that. How about the fake and the spin move by Taz? John Machachua missed in close. Got to make that. Field. Yep. You cannot give that kind of basket away. You have to make that. A great pass from Vital. Watch this guy. I guard this guy. I was going to say they'll give it to the hot hand. Yeah. And he gives it back to McBride. McNeil. See, right now it's all one-on-one -on -one for Baylor. The ball's not moving. Davion Mitchell, he's in trouble. Four on the shot clock. It's a game right now. Nothing forced. He plays really well off the stars on this team as a freshman. Meyer lost it. McBride gives it up. Cruising in for it. McBride. Eric Culver lost it. Another takeaway. Avery Anderson throws it down. 
Pinto making an even dozen turnovers for the Oklahoma State Cowboys who averaged close to 16 a game. And they get it right back. And then give it five, seven seconds, and then you must foul. Possession arrow to the Mountaineers. One timeout remaining for Oklahoma State. Bob Hub Same look. We're going with the chain tonight. We'll see if it brings him to West Virginia a little luck. That's tipped off him in Matthews' hands. And the chain may come off quickly if they turn it over <laughs> on their first game. Four minutes into the second half. Fuller tried to dump it underneath for Ladee. But a misfire. And here's a lob underneath off the hands of Sherman, who takes his frustration out on the padding. We got Sherman in the low post with Miles right now. That's an interesting matchup down there. Now it's Osaboyan and Ladee. And it's out off the knee of McBride. T and the deflection and the turnover favoring the Mountaineers. McBride going to the basket with the left hand. Ryan McBride's going to pick up the... Terrific pass from the top of the key. And the fouls and referees' whistles, Fran, have really prevented us from... And Cardi would be quick to point out, you know what, a lot of talent on this year's team, but they've got the number one recruiting class coming in again next season. Offensive foul hanging around against the West Virginia team, number 10 in the country, and playing so well on the road. McBride turns it over. Two on one. Town, Ohio has been magnificent, and again gives this team that inside threat to the outside game they possess with shooters. One of the reasons why a lot of folks think this is a team that could make a six season. And we talk about Brown and Jones and the mock drafts. But this kid is as important to this to this team as any of their big guys. He knows who he is. And they got Kai Jones for a travel. Footwork. You got to know. See, 88 by 44. Dick Devenzio, a great basket. Corner doubled on the baseline. Out to McBride. Ten to go. And deflected. Kept in play. And the Mean Green. They're gonna. Take this thing away from West Virginia and on this possession. Or and you throw it over and nobody touches it. You just don't want to throw this ball out of bounds if you're West Virginia. Take overtime and be happy. This McBride. Quarterback. He was a high Pressure free throws off the bench for Adam Flagler, who came on when Butler fouled out. Three-point game with a half minute. Cover. Gamble sold out on the high side. A little drop step finish. Yeah, Brown's got to be careful with those mm. three fouls early. Brown the snatch. Wilson ahead of the pack, and he banks it in. There's Bob Huggins will be shaking his head on the sideline. Had a big game against them earlier in the year. So Kansas hit five of the last six to end the first half. They hit their first three, make it four to begin with their last nine. McBride gives it up. And an offensive foul called on Deuce McBride. So tit for tat they go in the five. And then all of a sudden Jake Bosco or James Bosco decides he's gonna you know take over. They they lose that one. And remember in 2000 at Cincinnati, Kenyon Martin goes down in the conference tournament. They were the number one team finishing at the rim. Last touched by Texas Tech. McClung has come alive here in this second half. He's up to 17 points. Shannon has 10. Each with four fouls. Culver had been on the bench since the 15-minute mark here in the second half. I'm telling you, he's, he's feeling it. He made a bucket in the middle, and now he'll make one left side if they drive it. Off the hands and out of bounds of Oscar Shibwe, and you see the frustration on the big. McBride, Bassey's there. And, and Bassey. Bassey blocks it, but before the block, a traveling violation. Yeah, I was going to say Bassey made him. Wishing Rick. Feeling better. He was diagnosed as COVID positive, and that is one of the reasons why VCU at Armando Baycott. Yeah, has another, there. Yeah. Kind of twin towers like this West Virginia team has. And they've got some guards that are young. 
Here, here we go. Yeah. We saw this in the quarterfinal game against you. Trying to run the floor and get ahead was Sheepway. And the ball is lost out of bounds. Good hustle by Georgetown to get back. To Georgetown's turnovers, it's the live ball turnovers that kill you. Because there's no defense for that. Uh, as a team boat races or plays down hills off your miscues. Bile. Misses. And the travel on McBride. Of the opportunity to come back for a fifth year. The Juco transfer was just okay last year. He's getting better, and I think he would be a star next year. An offensive foul called. A slot hangs. A lot of contact, no whistle. And back the other way comes McBride. He'll swoop in. That's high off the glass. And it looks like oh. that will be an offensive foul called on Deuce Mc... Oh. He feeds Bridges, can't complete that flush. And then the bunny missed by McBride. And there won't be a third opportunity as Trey Jackson runs out for, cy for the Cyclones. Three tonight makes it a nine-point game. Iowa State keeps hanging around here, King. Great footwork. And it's well, saved been, to West Virginia. That's been the story all afternoon. R Richmond just cannot make anything from the three-point line. And now one of 11. That was a one mark. Oklahoma by eight. Here's Miles McBride, the sophomore. Deuce, as they call him. Osaboyan. Over Hill and Quinn. Side rim. Rondell Walker may have gotten away with one as he lost his footing, but likely missed the lay layup anyway. And now it is thrown out of bounds by Miles McBride. He tried to. I keep the ball in, in uh, uh, Deuce McBride's hands as much as I can. I also have confidence in. Uh oh, he stepped out of bounds. Yep, tough spot to catch it. And Kadrian Johnson stepped. The lefty going with the right on the face up. McBride able to keep it going for West Virginia. Was looking for Matthews, but then got picked from behind. He with 57 deflections. Here's West Virginia on a 7-0 run. Get a steal. Trying to get it back to Matthews from McBride, but that's offline. Cunningham able to swipe it back for time. Well, the shot clock was off. In theory, Matthews could have tried to throw that back out to eat some clock after the rebound on this miss by McBride. Culver and Shebway, two legit bigs, and Kansas stick they're really playing a smaller lineup this year. Yeah, they really are. At times they even play five guards. McCormick's a key for them. Let me tell you this, the Missouri Valley, very underrated. Southern Illinois, last night beat Butler. Today, Bradley loses by one to Missouri, and Drake is very, very good. Wave off the bucket in. I mean, I'm glad the Big Ten and the Pac-12 finally got their act together and said we're going to play after the other three Power Five conferences showed them how to do it. But I just, you know, to reward. There's a jump ball. Possession now is going to go to Iowa State as we take our under four timeout. A tight one in the Big 12 opener. To defend. And there's a near steal by Harris. Iowa State comes away with it. What a find by Bolton. His penetration sucked in the weak side of the defense in a great pass. And now Jalen. Last weekend in Morgantown. And Cade Cunningham right to the rim to start to Caleb Boone. But he can't connect. And here comes Emmett Matthews the other way. Has uh, turned out to be one of the powerhouse basketball programs in North America right now. Moncrief one for two from the line. He has seven, and it's a four-point West Virginia. Well, in these games, primarily I think it's because he has a big to really match up with. He doesn't really see too many in the Big 12. 
the year's off to a one for three start here. Two percent coming in. And I love Jalen Bridges. I, mean, I think that what he's been able to provide to the team ever since she Ray left, I think it's been huge. And another reason why this team has been so successful. Catch and shoot three, O'Bannon. Pace picks up, McAllister. Wrestling, almost tripping the, the, the offensive player. Fans don't like it, but this is by rule. You have to call this. Take a look now. He reaches in. Right, 42 points between them and Big 12 play, shooting the ball terrific from deep. Teague a little too strong from the corner. Southwest Conference title. They've got five all-time titles, all back from the 20s to the 50s in the Southwest Conference. Baylor, for so many years, was a defensive rebound by a guard in Flagler. The follow by that. Meyer, and he missed the bunny, and he can't pull. Butler can't knock it down. Gets his own miss. Puts it. The JUCO transfers have had McNeil and Sherman. Now upperclassmen. Avery Anderson. In a multiple of areas, both ends. Anderson does it again. Yep. Same play. West Virginia could really use these in a tight game. Tonight. Floater, tough shot. Ledeen. That right there is a goal team. Yeah, he hit the backboard. The ball had gone up, so that's the first bucket of the half. McNeil. <laughs> Miles splits the double team. Mike Bump. Back cut. Deuce McBride, the leader of this team, and he steals it down. I just think the officials in late season, when everybody's on edge, you got to give these kids a little bit of slack. McBride inside. Sherman, ball is able to pull it down. We know Baylor's got a good backcourt. There's that speed. Look at that right there. Osaboy and becomes the first player for either team to pick up his over at the free throw line with a minute to go. Puts West Virginia back on top. Think about this as it opens up the court. And it's a Butler. Ten seconds to go. 26 for Taz Sherman. Baylor right. in West Virginia. They have been hard. Yep, Kansas. First time in a long time. Outside the top 20% since 2009. Marcus Garrett trying to be the star. And as well. Look for something for Agbaji potentially in that corner right there. Looking for the final shot. Garrett keeps it. To the 10 as well. Nice entry. Excellent ball movement by the Jayhawks. Garrett slices in. Top five score at the Juco level a couple of years ago. And boy, he is thriving in his fifth straight start. Garrett misses it. The clock of your West Virginia. Play solid. Don't foul. Challenge. Get him off the three-point line. Garrett finds his
And Deuce McBride found that soft spot but missed the jumper. Cunningham the trailer. Bryce Williams rolling to the goal. Caleb Boone. Grief. The first victim of the foul trouble for Oklahoma State. He is done for the afternoon. A great afternoon for M.A. Moncrief, but he's going to be watching the... First shot attempt of the night for Miles. A hair long. But I think that could be huge in the tournament. Here's TCU down 11. That's a three from them. Looking for Samuel, instead skip to Miles. He launches and got it. Into the lane, Todd back out, three. My time not on the side of TCU. They got to hustle. Fuller launches a three. For businesses and employees. Because we're not built for followers. We're building for leaders. Right there. That mid-range game is in his arsenal. Well, and guess what? When you shoot it that well or that many times from outside, that's a long... I think the defense has been good enough to be in this game. They have to definitely convert on the offensive. Uh, you and I have spoken about this already. Yeah. I, I have no argument with Jared Butler and Davion Mitchell being yeah. first-team all-league players. As a matter of fact, I, I think this year... To entirely bury them. <laughs> Here's a three by Nimhorn. More tonight. You know how that goes for them. This league has gotten better, though, Kev. You look at the, the body of work over the course of this season, teams are significantly better. You still got to play here tonight. Emhart gives it up. Fuller, a three. And putting him on the block. You know, he runs and sets a lot of ball screens. Here he is again. He, he moves all over the floor in the half court in their offensive end. Emhart fires a three and connects. You big man. Nemhard tries a three and boy, it's guards running off. Here's Nemhard, high ball screen. Nemhard pull up straight on three. Well, and th this kid Sims, he will play pro basketball. Don't worry about the stats. Matthews saw him grabbing his shoulder, wincing a little bit. Evan Matthews Jr. He used to say, the players have to play, they can't play 94 by 50. They got to play 88 by 44. They got to know that there's really very limited home court advantage without crowds. The Irwin Center right now is spooky because they're... McBride with Coleman on him. And they got Coleman with that foul. It might, it might have been Cunningham reaching, John. I'm not sure. Well, actually, they go to TCU on Tuesday and obviously Baylor on Thursday. Now, here's a couple things. Matt Coleman is your best passer for Texas, but he's six foot. And look, but Bridges couldn't connect. He wide open Butler. Front rim, offensive rebound, Meyer. Butler's from behind the arc. Well, West Virginia has weathered that early storm. It's a three. West Virginia back on top as Taz Sherman has 23 to lead all scores. Bob, did you? Carolina at 6 Eastern. Both games are on ESPN and the ESPN app. Lead these guys, they're not running plays, which is good coaching because they can all get their own shot. Sherman. Culver again there. Under 10 to go here in the first half.
coaches said how proud they were of their guys. Yes. That they didn't once have to tell them anything protocol-wise. And their most consistent player this summer, his leadership has taken a step, and he gives you that edge. He just refused. West Virginia could really use these in a tight game. Now, give him a little break there. Let him catch his legs there and think about it a little bit and come back in. Out of bounds, going baseline. With I think the defense.
the JUCO transfers have had. McNeil and Sherman, now upperclassmen. Avery Anderson. In a multiple of areas, both ends. Anderson does it again. Yep, same play. First shot attempt of the night for Miles. A hair long for tonight. The floater, tough shot. Ledeen. That right there is a goal team. Yeah, he hit the backboard. The ball had gone up, so that's the first bucket of the half. West Virginia is in a similar situation. Remember, he did not have a huge impact on this West Virginia team a year ago. For businesses and employees. Because we're not built for followers. We're building for leaders. Guards running off. Here's Nemhard, high ball screen. Nemhard pull up, straight on three. Ooh. Miles splits the double team. Oh. Mike Bob There's really very limited home court advantage without crowds. The Irwin Center right now is spooky because they're... McBride inside. Sherman. Ball. Well, actually, they go to TCU on Tuesday and obviously Baylor on Thursday. Now, here's a couple things. Matt Coleman is your best passer for Texas, but he's six foot over at the free throw line with a minute to go. Puts West Virginia back on top. One minute. One minute to play. Think about this as it opens up the court. And it's a Butler. Ten seconds to go. Yeah. Yep, Kansas. First time in a long time. Outside the top 20% since 2009. Marcus Garrett trying to be the star. It's not the so far. They have not, and now they want to try to get something inside, I think. Got to dribble it in there or pass it into the paint area. Here's McBride. And West Virginia back up eight. As we approach, eight minutes to go here in the first half. It's been Derek.
the way they play with a lot of perimeter help. There's Likely. Allowed the flyby. Bryce Williams gives it up. And Likely shot. He's a point wing to me. There's the double team out near midcourt again, so a numbers advantage on the backside. Bryce Williams gets to the base. McNeil and Sherman. Now upperclassmen. Avery Anderson glides to the goal. Kuma on the offense. Interesting thing about McNeil and, and Sherman this year, they can go on the deck. Cunningham. G2, you love to see that. Cunningham spins with the left hand. How pretty was that? Sherman, the quick trigger won't go. Caleb Boone, the rebound. Cunningham with ice likely. Like lightning down the left. Right. Cunningham, the rebound. Long bounce pass to Likely. He crosses over and finishes. The team, they can get points quickly. A block at the rim from behind. Puggins is trying to get number five, 900, and maybe a spot in the Hall of Fame. It just goes to show you how this team morphed over the course of this. Oh, support off the window. Oh, man. That doesn't happen very often. Oh, game. Well, there's nobody back on Montreal. defense. How about that? That the, the effort level today by West Virginia defense. South Park vaccination special. New Wednesday at 8 on Comedy Central. That, that, that heartbreaking loss that West Virginia had to Baylor. I want to see how they recover. I want to see if they're going to respond the right way or they're going to. Looking for Samuel. Nice hey. pass over the top. Slam. Well, Boulder front for West Virginia on that possession. They come up empty. Then Todd just lost it off his leg and out of bounds. Points picked up a foul a few minutes in. And Taryn Frank gives it up on the baseline. Todd loose. Good one more. Missed three by Easley. Flipped up and a foul. I think another reason why West Virginia is tough is because they make tough contested shots. And <laughs> his career high in points. Ladia scored the last six. And that the floater, tough shot. Ladie. No second chance opportunity there. Nimhart. Todd driving land for eight for his last eight from the field, including four from his last four for three. Yeah, absolutely, Rich. That's why I said earlier he's really not a big blowout city for West Virginia. But there, Culver answers with a bucket of his own. He has seven. Miles among the top 11 scorers in lead play. Muller gives it up to Nimhart in the back door cut and he's. Miles goes to work and a good looking move as as many teams that can win a championship I think is the Big Ten. There's O'Bannon from short distance. Culver can't hang on. Miles had it battered. I think it boy Chris a 14 point Iowa State lead on undefeated number two Baylor. In that 10 point differential. Well, there were certainly encouraging signs for. Don't worry about the stats. But he just picked up a second. And the Mountaineers has Sherman drills that one. One of the things we touched on is how good a three-point shooting team this is. In harass Texas, the lead is four. Five oh three to go here, first half. And we'll be back after the. guards pretty much whoever's got the ball Bob Huggins just yells take them it's a take them offense 
certainly been, Fran, about the guards in this game. We've got a three-point game with three minutes to go. No question. We know how good Baylor's guards are. Harmon on the drive. The other night against Texas Tech, managing foul trouble. Miles McBride in the first half, and then Culver in the second. There's a drive, and with the left hand, Elijah Harkless. When he faces up at that foul line, he's much better off the dribble, and he was able to get it back to his left hand to finish. Harkless from Texas Tech, and he has 10 points today, all of them here in the second half. 15 footer, Reeves good. Going early. Garrett. Teams man to man. Austin Wilson here, yep. And like you said, get some offensive rebound. He is early on here. Wilson baseline, rattling out. McCormick again. Here's McClung, elbow jumper high. McBride blocks it, shot clock. The way they play with a lot of perimeter help. There's Likely, allowed the flyby. Bryce Williams gives it up, and Likely shot. Plays well in these games. Primarily, I think it's because he has a big to really match up with. He doesn't really see too many in the Big 12. Produced with a really good look at a little bank shot. Whoa! So Osaboyan becomes the first player for either team to pick up his over at the free throw line with a minute to go. Puts West Virginia back on top. Top five score at the Juco level a couple of years ago. And boy, he is thriving in his fifth straight start. Gary misses it though. 2010. He's the sixth winningest coach all time in NCAA history. Oh, nice. Nice seed. But it's a race by McBride and a great. Gets off the jump hook. Won't go down. Gets it back. Swatted away. It. They have made just three of their first 14 shots tonight. And another West Virginia block. Inside of seven and a half minutes to go. We talked about Gabe Ochoboyan being the best defensive player. He is now on white. Seconds away from getting a much needed victory on the road in the Big 12. The block by McBride. Shot blocker in a big body. You don't shy away from it. Bain kicks it out. That's where threes in the early part of that first half. Anderson. Good recovery. Look at those hands. Punched out. Garrett shovels to Dotson. He's trying to beat McBride. McBride there defensively with the block. What a play. Doodle with another rebound. Something Brady Manick did a nice job right there. He had a strong lower base. And although Culver caught it. Oh, boy. And an errant pass picked off by Ramsey. Can't finish. And neither can miss. That's pinned by Bone. Likely attacks the goal. That's blocked. What a block, Bob. Right. In and out. Knocked around. Gillespie taps it ahead to Meyer. And that is going to be taken away. For game and now averaging over 17 for Nichols. Here's Hunter. Hunter has it blocked. Nice job by Perrin. Inside, Dan Penny challenged and blocked. And the big man. Shaky with the ball. He might turn it over. Haldeman gathers it back in. And a block. McBride. Sherman has it rejected. Back the other way. 
Here's Cheese, finds Banks. Oh, 